Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode here on Man Made Customs. So in today's episode, we're going to teach you guys how to prepare Yellowtail Snapper. We caught these guys off the coast of Isla Morada. Uh, the first reef we saw, it looked good. Threw some oats, some chum. The oats kind of sink to the bottom, brings the Yellowtail up, and it gets them biting a lot easier. So for this recipe, we're going to be using cilantro, fresh cilantro, uh, mango salsa, highly recommended, especially with Yellowtail. People say this blend is just amazing. So snapper, mango salsa, big plus. Also, we're going to be using taco seasoning, something I wanted to try for a long time. I think it's going to taste good. Let's find out, guys. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and start filleting. Let's get to it. You always want to not forget about that head meat. I always forget. Learn my lesson. Make your way down here. All the way to the end. Just kind of work along the rib cage, just like that. Avoid the spine as much as you can. It's all rib there. Just want to always. I always like to keep it like kind of tilted too, because if you go this way, kind of like ruin the meat. If you keep it tilted, you don't ruin any meat. Just kind of get it all. Some people scale their fish because they want to leave the skin. But if you don't plan on leaving the skin, it's not really necessary to scale your fish. There you have it. Guys, I'm keeping the skin on, which is why it's scaled. I personally like the skin, so it's gonna stay on. Let's go ahead and remove any bones that we see in here. So right off the bat, I can feel that there's a little bone right here. Another one here, feels good, feels good. And there's one right here. Here's the rib cage. let's go ahead and remove that. This is garbage. So there you guys have it, one clean fillet. All right guys, so now it's the other side of the fish, same exact thing. guys so we just finished filleting everything's clean we're gonna go ahead and use some taco seasoning highly recommended can't wait to try it let's get into it so I'm not gonna go too heavy on it a buddy of mine actually told me it's really good on snapper so we'll see if that's true that should be good just kind of rub it in there make sure it gets all in there me personally, I don't really season the skin. I just season this side. And then once it gets on the on the frying pan, I'll hit it with a little bit more seasoning because some of this kind of falls off. So let's go ahead and cook, guys. All right, guys. So instead of using uh, butter, we're gonna go ahead and use some olive oil. I don't want any of the fish sticking to the pan, so we're gonna get it nice and greased up. That should be good. You saw that? Woo. All right. We have our seasoned fillets here, nice and seasoned. I, I am gonna hit them with seasoning a second time because every time I do this, a lot of the seasoning comes off and uh, I like a little bit more seasoning than the average person. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these guys on. Can't wait to eat this. Look at that, they're instantly shrinking up. You see that, guys? It's awesome. So another thing I love about yellowtail snapper is how white the meat is. Look at that. It's really shrinks. I love how white the meat is on these guys. Now that we got the fillet sitting and, uh, and cooking, we're gonna go ahead and add our cilantro. Just gonna add some in between each of the fillets. That way the that way the pan and the oil just kind of gets all over this. Put it in between. Add some more here. 
the oil will kind of cook the cilantro, get that taste into the meat, and that's what you want. That's exactly what you want. So now that we have our cilantro in, we are gonna go ahead and check out the mango salsa, put it in, let it marinate, and I'm sure it's gonna taste really good. All right, guys, so I'm kind of just checking the meat. Since there's small fillets and I have it on high, um, always be ready to flip these guys. Get that oil spread across, make sure all that flavor is reaching everywhere there. I'm actually going to do one more dose of seasoning just to get that real taste in there. Can't go wrong with it. And I actually tried the seasoning on the side. I really like it, so might as well. Another good thing about yellowtail snapper, I know I've said it twice already, but uh, yellowtail snapper is just some of the whitest meat, uh, especially in the snapper family, a lot whiter than mango snapper. Um, and it has a, a consistency of like grouper. So it's a really good fish. Definitely one of my top five. All right, so I think we're almost time to flip, or at least let's check out, see if it's ready to flip. Yeah, that's what you like to see. Always try to be as careful as possible when you're flipping these things because uh, they do break really easily, which is a good thing. It means the meat's nice and tender. But you guys can already see, look how white that meat is right there. That's some really white meat. People have their meat preferences when it comes to fish. I'm a white meat guy. I love it, and I think 80% of everyone else also does. Go ahead and flip this guy as well. So now that we have these guys flipped, I'm gonna add a little bit more cilantro and we're gonna get the mango salsa going. So, here we got our cilantro. And uh, you're, you're supposed to use the stems, but when it comes to cooking, all the flavors in the leaves. My mom actually taught me that, so when you're really trying to get the flavor on there, use the leaves for the cilantro. Just kind of throw it on them and that heat will get all the flavor just mixed into the fillets. It's exactly what you want. You want to taste it. All right, so for the, as far as mango salsa goes, what I'm going to do is a little bit while it's cooking, so it a little bit while it's cooking, so it marinates, and a little bit after because I actually want to, you know, I want to taste the salsa cold on top of my meat. That's just a preference. So we're gonna go ahead and put some, and I'm only gonna do that to my serving. I don't know if other people want that. A little bit of mango salsa here right over the meat. Just let that sit for a second. Then we're gonna flip it back around. I'm gonna add a little bit of salsa under. That smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell that. So what we're gonna do now is let it sit for a little bit. Let that marinate, let it soak, hydrate the meat. When we're ready, we're gonna go ahead and flip it and put it straight on the dinner plate. Like I said, preference for me is I wanna add a little bit more salsa to the top. Don't recommend it because you might do, it might be a little bit of overkill, but that's just a preference because I love mango salsa. So we're gonna cook these boys up and I'll see you guys when they're ready. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if these meats are ready. If they're not ready, they're very close. So I'm gonna flip it. And I'd say they're just about ready. I don't like mine too crisp. Get a nice little flip here. This one's probably gonna break. He's the bigger one. So I think I'm just gonna cut them right there in the middle and just do this, flip them separately. I think that was the smartest thing to do there. We'll flip that guy as well. Let them cook up, and we're gonna go ahead and remove these guys right now. All right, guys, so this is the tricky part. Removing it without breaking it. There's one. There's two. Here's three. Four. Last but not least, fillet five. All right guys, so we're gonna turn that off. That looks delicious, nice and steamy. Check that out. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and making it to the end of this video. So what we're gonna do for you now is I'm gonna take a quick taste test, send you guys off, and let's see how this tastes. I can't wait, we've been cooking this up, and I'm starving. So I did put extra mango on it, as you guys saw. I already knew it was gonna be amazing, so it's not even a surprise. It's really good. Guys, if you like mango, if you like cilantro, and if you like yellowtail snapper, this is definitely a really good recipe to try. I enjoy it. I'm sure the cameraman's about to come over here and eat it up too. So definitely guys, if you liked it, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. It helps a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment and we'll see you guys next episode.